like this. What in the hell? Something took a swipe at him. Oh look! Bleeding everywhere. Oh Jesus, that's the craziest thing I've ever seen. A muskie must have smoked him. Holy cow, that's crazy. Holy smokes. <laughs> Sego camera guy for bass over here out here in St. Clair, Michigan. Got a long idle out here before we get off on plane and get going. Uh, but beautiful day. We're gonna get a little wind this afternoon. Got 10 to 20. We'll see how that plays out. We're gonna try to catch some of these big brown fish. We're gonna say hello to our friend Alan over there. He's over there taking a few pictures. But we're gonna go out here. Look at that sunrise. Gonna be a beautiful day out here once we get going we're gonna go after these big brown fish and then after that we'll see how it goes if we're struggling or not getting bit or whatever we may go catch a few green ones but we might try to save that and hopefully go ahead and get uh get us these big brown fish in the boat and uh, gonna get after it and get a lot of crankbait action this morning so stay with us it's gonna be fun off with the little guy. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but better than nothing. The ones we really need to weigh, but I couldn't fish a whole bunch more out there with nothing in the box. I think I can go ahead, buckle down in here, get at least five, maybe call once, see how it goes, and get back out there. Frogger action. 
Well, we went and caught us three largemouth, all about two pounds. Uh, not, not what we need to do. I don't need to weigh in any of those fish. Um, thought I might get at least a decent one or catch a limit, but wasted about an hour. Now we're gonna get back out and uh, chase some brown ones till, uh, till four o'clock. That's what we're gonna do.
Well, we just checked in day one. Not what I was hoping for. Um, ran out of film and I didn't put my head cam back on there on the very last stop. And uh, we caught us one that helped about half a pound. And I lost one that would have helped probably a pound or so, which that really sucks. Um, came off on the chatterbait and he was just a little green I was hurry I was rushing him I know I did uh, but I thought I could just heave him right into the boat uh, he it wasn't a line break situation uh, just bad luck so hopefully we'll uh, have some redemption tomorrow get a couple bigs and uh, move on back up we'll see how bad this is gonna be shortly Large mouth, what in the world? <laughs> Freeman Elite Series champion for $1.3 million in Bassmaster earnings from Salem, Virginia, the cruise missile, John Cruz. All right, here we go. Day two, a little dark out, a little dark. We got a little idle before we get going. Uh, just call my boat number. I am going to be uh, headed out early flight today so i'm gonna have to get it done i can't wait till the end of the day to catch some decent fish uh, so i'm in 64th place i got some ground to make up i think it's absolutely possible uh, i need one of those bags you know over 20 pounds probably in the 21 22 pound range to uh to make the cut so we'll uh see what we can do we're gonna go give it hell so uh hopefully we get to enjoy this Oh Lord. Have us a little visitor for a little bit, Mr. Jim Sexton, got in the boat with us. Good to be with you, John. Bassmaster.com, extraordinaire. He owns the internet. Uh, Al Gore, he bought it from Al Gore, and uh, yeah, he actually owns the internet. Well, as far as Bassmaster's concerned, let's just say that. But anyway, had some I'll fun with it. had some fun with my buddy Jim. Look at that stash, boy. Let's go catch some fish, all right?
shot her. Hey. Just checked in here day two. Kind of an exciting finish. 
We gave it our all, and we are way short. I don't think I even got a four pounder today. I got that one that's maybe three and three quarters. Pretty cool. Uh, maybe it's three, something like that. But we're gonna have between 14 and 15 pounds again, probably. Uh, may have a fraction more, but just very disappointing. Um, fished a lot of new water today. No, no decent bites, no good bites. And uh, we're gonna put them on the scales here in a few minutes and see what they weigh after we get this idle in. Well, we just weighed them in. We weighed 14, 10, about like I thought they were gonna weigh. Um, gonna finish down in the 60s, I feel like, again. And it's just getting frustrating and it's getting old. So I have to get my rear end in gear for Gunnersville and the other events. Um, that's the highs and the lows, man. 